Good morning. Welcome to day 104. What a beautiful symphony of bird song. Yeah, that's the privy. Bearded frog sounds like a bear. blessed to experience this incredible beauty each morning. Gratitude each day. Fully. Mountains again. We've been doing a lot of climbing this morning. Holy cow. And it isn't over yet. Hiking up Bear Mountain, which let me tell you, ain't no joke in Connecticut. And I just ran into someone who recognized me from the YouTube channel. His name is Morgan. Uh, he had an Acadia hat on. And it was great to meet you, Morgan. Thank you for watching. And I love seeing people out on the trail. It's awesome. Get outside, everybody. Get out here and enjoy this gift. And you know what? If you can't get on a trail for one reason or another, that's okay. Sit out on your back deck or sit out somewhere. Just get outside. Let the sun kiss your face. Let the breeze blow through your hair. Just 
get outside. Thank you again, Morgan. Appreciate that you are a viewer. I'm hiking home. I live in New England, so I'm thrilled to be back. On top of Bear Mountain. Those two lakes are Massachusetts, baby. Almost in Mass. Oh my gosh. I just met the most awesome group of people up on top of Bear Mountain. Um, I'll throw their photos up on here um, after I'm done taking this video. But we had the most incredible conversation about through hiking and they had amazing questions. And if there's one thing a through hiker loves to talk about, it's their through hike because this is our lives, right? <laughs> it's all we do every day. So, um, if you guys end up uh, linking up and uh, watch any of the videos on my channel here, then um, thank you very much. I think these birds are fighting over here. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but there's still one in the woods. Um, anyway, it was really wonderful to meet you. Thank you for, thank you for all of your incredibly um, thoughtful questions and um, your comments and your encouragement. It was really wonderful to meet you. Um, and you're never too old to get out here and do this. I've seen people of all ages um, hiking the Appalachian Trail and you can do it any way you want in sections or flip-flopping or whatever. But if you want to do it, then do it. Do it. If it's something you want to do, don't let anything hold you back. Don't let age hold you back. Just do it slower. Do it in smaller chunks. But if you want to do it, give yourself that gift because it's worth it. Trust me. It's worth every everything. I hiked home. I'm not done yet. This is my home where I live. I still have my other two homes, my loves, New Hampshire. This is where I was born. This is where I live now. My other home is New Hampshire. It owns a piece of my heart because I grew up there. I fell in love with the mountains there. And my third home is Maine. That's where our camp is. That's where I spend a lot of my time. That's a land that I've fallen in love with. So this is number one. I hiked from Georgia to Massachusetts. And you want to hear something hilarious? I walked right by this sign and I walked 2.25, a quarter of a mile down a hill. And I was looking for the sign, I couldn't find it. And I saw a bearded frog, I'm like, I can't believe there's no sign. He's like, you're joking. You missed it? He's like, it's back up that hill. He offered to watch my pack so I could run back up here, but no, I get my pack. I came back up the hill a quarter of a mile and now I'm going back down because I wouldn't be me if I didn't walk right by my own state sign. <laughs> oh my God, I'm in Massachusetts, baby. I'm in Massachusetts, baby. I'm in Massachusetts, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. I still can't believe I did that. Well, 
I guess I'm not that surprised. Sometimes wearing a baseball hat like affects your span of sight. And I do believe that oftentimes it messes me up. I don't see certain things and I think it was a, a little bit of an intersection of signs and I think I just missed it, but I went back. I had to go back. This is my home state. Oh, amazing. What an amazing day. It's been really hot. There's been a lot of climbs. So I haven't done a ton of video. Oh, this is a nice campsite. Wow. I would love to camp here. But it's not far enough. We got miles to go still. Miles to go before we sleep. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Feels good, right? Yeah! Wow. Damn good. Welcome back to Massachusetts. Welcome home. <laughs> what a beautiful river. What's it called? Sage Ravine? Yeah. Okay, so y'all know I went back up that damn hill for the sign. Look at what we just found. Another one. Welcome to Massachusetts. I've snorted about three black flies and swallowed one. No, two black flies. Snorted two black flies. Swallowed one. Going uphill again. As if Bear Mountain wasn't a tough enough climb. Ascent and descent. Um, ooh, a little flat. Yay. Ooh.
Oops, I was wrong. That was not Mount Everett. That was Mount Race that I was climbing up. Mount Everett is next. I am pooped today. It's the hot weather. Funny being in Massachusetts. It's kind of weird. Look how I get here. How am I this close to home? Huh? Only like two hours from home. It's weird. So the stream I was supposed to fill my water up at is dry. This is not my shit, man. Fucking buggy. Hot, steep. miles left, but they're hard miles, I believe. I don't know if these make it harder or easier. At least this slight breeze. Occasional. Not a ton of white blazes on this trail, I'll also add. Makes it a little trickier to navigate as you're looking ahead. can tell how steep this is. <sighs> oh my god. At the end of the day, when it's hot, Pick it up here. Mount Everett's summit. 2602. Okay. Great views. <laughs>